The Lord be with you. I welcome you into another week of devotion, another week in the season of Lent, and our journey together through the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you once again. I hope you are joining us for worship. I hope you're utilizing the devotion booklet and just taking, doing special things to cause us to call to mind God's eternal love for us, his great blessing to us by his grace. Grace is what I want to talk about also in the next devotion in a couple of days. But for today, I've entitled this devotion, Great in Your Midst. Great in Your Midst. And I would invite you to listen to Isaiah chapter 12, verses 2 to 6. Isaiah 12, 2 to 6. This was our Old Testament reading for this past Sunday. The Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation, and you will say in that day, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be made known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitant of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. What I, one of my prayers, one of my hopes is that those words ring familiar to your ears. They are directly lifted out of Isaiah and into the service of prayer and preaching. Our Lutheran service hymnal, Lutheran service book, page 260, which is, is my favorite for the seasons of Advent and Lent. If you come to worship in the seasons of Advent and Lent to the midweek worship services, we just always use service of prayer and preaching. And this is part of our prayer. This is part of our praise. As I said, these words verbatim lifted out and into our liturgy, as is true for so much of our liturgies, of our divine services, opportunities for us to sing back to the Lord his love, his grace, his greatness. What is, what is so great about God's greatness? It is just this, Jesus, who has come and lived and died and risen for our salvation. God has made that known for you and for me again and always in his word, in his gifts to you and to me, his holy word, his living promises, your baptism, where God says, Baptism washes us clean, makes us new. And, of course, in his supper, the body and blood of Jesus, in the wafer and the wine, Jesus, by his power, is there, truly present. He is in our midst. Great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. And that is a song that we sing, a faith that we express right now. Because right now, in the midst of whatever you're facing, you're enduring, you're experiencing, you're celebrating, or you're grieving, in the midst of all of that, the Lord God is in your midst. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be made known in all the earth. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. God himself is right in the middle of who you are, of what you're facing, of what you're doing. And that means for us powerful, great grace, joy, and strength to continue to walk by faith and not by sight. God bless you as you do. I invite you to pray. Lord God, we do rejoice in you and in your presence, your promises. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your great love and pray that you would bless us this day and always to live that out and to share it with others. In Jesus' name, amen.
The peace of the Lord be with you. And once again, look forward to being with you later in the week to talk about this great grace.